The Island Lizards by Gabby Mazaris and Cole Gasner. Survival of the fittest of the Enola scriptus lizard. The question is, why do some Enola scriptus lizards survive hurricanes in the Caribbean islands and others do not? Through this children's book, we hypothesize that specific physical features in some Enola's lizards aid in surviving the harsh winds and sweeping waters that come with hurricanes. Larger toe pads with the addition of longer front limbs and shorter hind limbs have proven to be beneficial to combat these storms. So through natural selection, these traits have been passed down. On an island, lizards bask in the sun. The Caribbean serves as the perfect place for their fun. The palm trees sway in the fresh ocean air. The lizards can roam simply without a care. In the trees is where they hang out. It is their safe spot from which they can scout. With predators below, they enjoy being up high. Over time, they've adapted to being up in the sky. The lizard's specialized traits aren't shared by them all. Some may be tall and some may be small. Some may be fast and some may be strong. Each lizard's own traits serve them well where they belong. With the lizards now safe and hidden in the trees, they're ready to start their own families. The kids will be secure in their parents' abode due to the adaptions that their genetics encode. That being said, the island isn't always serene. Fitness is tested when a disaster is on scene. An abundance of rain leads to a hurricane's rise. Gushing winds and waves leave the animals in cries. Lizards rush to their homes in a state of dismay, trying their best to stay out of harm's way. As the lizards scurry through the leaves on a branch, the hurricane tests them with a wind avalanche. All of the lizards must grab the branch tight or else they'll be blown off as they face the windy fight. This is where the selection takes place. The lizard's fitness helps them in this case. Unique traits allow them to survive so that over time they will continue to thrive. The bigger their toe pads and shorter their legs, the more likely they'll be to live to lay eggs. After each storm, a pattern arises. We see a gradual increase towards these sizes. This gives us a prime solution to how ecological interactions drive evolution.